everyone, my name is Rain and this is my husband Chano. We are currently living in the wonderful country of Ireland, but we love exploring new places around the world and sharing our adventures. Welcome to our channel, Rain or Shine. In March 2022, we spent 8 days exploring the Peloponnese in Greece. In our first episode, we shared our visit to the archaeological sites of Mycenae and Epidauros. To Argos, one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. And to the charming city of Nafplio. In our second episode, we showed the ancient city of Sparta, the Byzantine ruins of Mistras, and Monemvasia, one of the most impressive places in Greece. If you haven't seen those episodes yet, links in the description box. This is the third episode of our Peloponnese travel series. Watch until the end to discover Mani Peninsula, one of those areas where Greek authenticity has been truly preserved throughout the centuries. Thank you for joining us. So far, we've been very lucky with the weather, but today it's been drizzling and raining for a little while. But still, with this sky, this is still a beautiful weather. As soon as we arrived in Mani Peninsula, we checked in at Toxotis guest house where we stayed for one night. Located in Pyrgos di Rho, we chose this accommodation because it's just a few minutes away by car from the town of Ariopoli and much cheaper than the hotels in the historic center. Also, we wanted to stay in one of the special traditional buildings of Mani. We have already checked in and left our huge luggage in our room. We're on our way to Vatia. The sceneries on the windy road to Vatia were already worthwhile the drive. The sun was almost setting when we arrived in Vathia. Immediately, Chano started to take drone videos and pictures. Meanwhile, he asked me to just go alone to the town and take some content videos. I happily agreed since it was just a few minutes away from his location. I reached the town and quickly noticed that it was very quiet. I couldn't see any other visitor or sign of human life. I kept strolling until I had an eerie feeling and then realized that the town is almost completely abandoned. Nevertheless, Vathia is really a unique place to visit with its captivating tower houses built on a hill overlooking the sea. The village became depopulated in recent years, gaining its nickname Ghost Village. Now, it's becoming one of the top attractions in the Peloponnese. Some buildings are being restored and transformed into guest houses, but they are mainly open during the summer months. I hurried back to where my husband and enjoyed with him the stunning sunset over the Mediterranean.
For dinner, we drove to the town of Ariopoli. The restaurant where we ate our dinner is located in the original mansion of Petrobes Mavromikalis, who was one of the first leaders of the revolution that allowed Greece to gain its independence from the Ottoman Empire between 1821 and 1829. We really love this accommodation because it's so peaceful. We are surrounded by olive trees and all you can hear are the birds chirping. We also love that even if these buildings are newly built, they still respect the traditional architecture of Mani Peninsula. Last night it was freezing cold, it was raining, very windy, and then this morning the mountains were covered with snow. Hopefully today will be a better day and it's sunny. We went out early in the morning and drove for 10 minutes going to the town of Ariopoli. After parking our car, we had a quick breakfast before we started to explore the charming town. Ariopoli is one of the most beautiful places in Mani Peninsula. Chano and I were once again surprised of how picturesque the streets were, full with very well-preserved stone houses. Unlike other villages where these kind of houses have been abandoned, Ariopoli is still a lively residential area. The town had a very important role during the Greek Revolution against the Ottoman Empire. As a matter of fact, Ariopoli is the city where the first revolution flag was raised on March 17, 1821 by the local hero Mavro Mikalis. The historical center of Ariopoli is quite small, so you can easily stroll around and see it in a few hours. And if you get tired, there are plenty of cafes, restaurants, and bars to recover energy with delicious Greek cuisine. This is indeed one of the prettiest little towns in Greece. Approaching the village of Limani. It's just 10 minutes drive away from the town of Ariopoli. Hopefully it will get sunny again because when it's sunny the water gets really beautiful. So we are gonna stay here for a couple of hours. As soon as we arrived, this cute cat immediately greeted and followed us wherever we went. Why are you wet? Whoa. <laughs> During our trips, we are always being followed by dogs or cats. This cat has been following us for 15 minutes. Come to me. Come to me. Oh. One, two, three. <laughs> I love it's gonna break your jacket. What is that? I love it's gonna break you. <laughs> you like it. Who is that? Garfield. <laughs> Such a nice life, huh? Huh? Such a nice life. The village of Limani is one of the hidden gems of Greece. 
the man is not yet very popular to foreign tourists. That's why when we arrived, there were no other visitors except my husband and I. Though there were some workers preparing for the upcoming summer season. Liman is probably the most beautiful coastal town in Mani Peninsula. Believe us when we say that you should visit it when traveling to the Peloponnese. Despite the constant changes of the weather while we were there, we could fully appreciate and enjoy the exquisiteness of the crystal clear turquoise waters of Limani, with its imposing stone towers overlooking the coast. The village has a very simple beauty, yet transmits an authentic essence. We're so lucky because we just finished visiting the town and it started drizzling. But someone is so sad because he couldn't take more drone video videos. But I'm happy because we have to live now and eat our lunch because I'm so hungry. I'm just munching some Doritos. It's not lunch time yet. It's only 2.30. But it's lunch time for Filipinos. Our lunch time is at 12 o'clock. We are not in the Philippines. But my that. tummy is, is Filipino. We're now on our way to our next destination. We are going to Gifio. We passed yesterday when we were coming to Areopoli. We were supposed to stop there first, but we didn't have time. So we have decided to, to add it today. We are gonna have lunch first, and then we are gonna walk there around the promenade. I was already very hungry when we reached the town of Githio, but luckily Chano is really good in choosing the best value for money restaurants. I almost cried when they served us our sumptuous food. Everything was delicious and we highly recommend this place when you visit Githio. I told you, it's worth the wait. They went to cut a tree. <laughs> There's a tree on my food. It's like a mountain with grass and wildflowers. It's a work of art. <laughs> Githio, the former port of Sparta in ancient times, is nowadays one of the most appealing fishing towns in the Peloponnese. Githio has a long history with many interesting sites like Tanetaki's Tower, the Church of Agus Petros, or its lighthouse. We didn't have much time to explore properly the town because we had to drive for almost three hours going to our next destination. But before leaving Githio, we couldn't miss a very unique attraction located in one of its amazing beaches. As usual, we are again in a rush. Today we have visited the towns of Ariopoli, Limani, and Githio. And to end our day, we are going to visit the shipwreck near Githio. It's been raining on and off, but nothing can stop us right now because we are just going to be here for a few days. So we will take advantage of the time that we have here in the Peloponnese region. After all, we want to live by the name of our channel, which is Rain or Shine. <laughs> Keep exploring Rain or Shine. <laughs> we have 15 minutes to visit this place. So let's go. Only 15 minutes, so let's go. Demetrius shipwreck is an imposing cargo ship that was abandoned in 1981. The origins of this ghost boat are quite mysterious. 
Some stories say that it was transporting illegal cigarettes. Others say that his captain got sick and had to leave the boat in Githio due to financial problems. to the car now because it's getting dark and we have to drive for two and a half hours going to Methoni. <laughs> That ends our third episode in the Peloponnese. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It's really important to help us grow and be able to create more travel contents. You can also hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss our travel series. Stay tuned for our next and last Peloponnese video. We will show you more fascinating places that you shouldn't miss in a trip to this part of Greece. Until then, Keep exploring, rain or shine.